prompts. The best way to describe what a prompt is or what a callout is, is by demonstrating it. So I'm going to bring my Camtasia program forward and I'm going to show you a prompt. Here it is. The prompt is a little piece of textual information that you can provide in your screen at a given point of your recording. So what I'm going to do at this moment is I am going to let my recording play and I would like you to please take a moment to listen to what I'm saying because that would explain why I decided to use that prompt. It can help you save some time at the time of production. So I'm going to play now and please pay attention. So imagine, for example, that you're showing uh, a small clip, a very small clip in the internet, and when you listen to your recording, that clip's audio was not very good. This is a way to improve it. Now, during this lesson, I realized that after giving this example, the example was not very good. It is a good example, but it has to be qualified for it to be applicable for the lesson in a good way. So if I zoom in, you're going to realize what it is that I stated in my callout. And basically I am saying that I don't recommend screen capturing videos. It is always better to provide access to a video separately than to record your screen while the video is playing. Basically, I am correcting what I said over here because my example actually cites recording a video with Camtasia. So it is a good example for my purposes, which is to raise or lower the volume of that specific area. But the example is not perfect because, well, in reality, it is better to provide access to videos separately than to re-recording using the screen capturing technology. Now, why did I decide to create this callout? It would be a lot easier for me to add that information at this point in time in my recording than to re-record again and to add it. So it is a way for you to save time if you made some mistakes and you would like to really give a very precise explanation that was not given during your recording of the video. The prompt or the callout uh, also is placed in the track area with all of your other media and it works in the exact same way when it comes to the layering of tracks. Whatever it is placed on top is going to appear as it is covering other areas of your video. Very well. There's other ways to use prompts and I am only showing two of them. The first one is to make clarifications after recording so it is a lot easier for you to finish than to do more production. And the other one, for example, could be giving students an assignment. So during the recording, you ask students to pause the video they read your prompt, they perform a task, and then they continue watching the video. So I'm going to demonstrate how creating a callout or a prompt takes place. And I am going to select a portion of this video. There's nothing specific in this video that I would like to, um, to create a prompt for besides this one. It is just to show you how it happens. So once that you have placed your head where you would like your prompt to appear, you need to come to this menu over here that is called Callouts. If you don't see the Callouts button in this area, click on More and it might appear in this part. This area as well as this area are dynamic, so they're going to be changing in the way they're presented. Click on Callout and at that moment you're going to get a window like this one in which you're going to be able to create a callout. I'm going to click on the plus button. And as you can see, we already have a brand new callout that we can use. This callout has the shape of an arrow and eventually can have the shape of any of these graphics in this window. And I normally don't like to use arrows. As I use them only when it is absolutely necessary because I want to focus the attention of the user on a specific part of the screen. I normally prefer to just use squares like that. Now one of the things that you can do with a square and it would be good for you to realize that is that you can change how it looks in many different ways. The first one is by indicating that it should have different fields 
and for my case I always prefer to go completely white and to write in black to make a very high contrast call out that people with disabilities might be able to to read you can also change the border and normally I don't like too much applying effects I think that this is extra visual candy that doesn't really add too much to the core of your presentation once that you have done that um, if this came with some text because you had another call out in your timeline you can select it all delete it and start again so for example if you would like to create an assignment for your students during the recording of the video so they can work on those things and later on continue watching the video you can start here by saying please pause the video now and in the line below so for example I decided to add a call out that asks first to pause the video and later on to reflect on what could be the possible uses of a call out or a prompt and I'm asking the users in this case you to please write a paragraph explaining one possible use of call outs for your own recordings and when you're done to please continue watching the video so this is just an example I don't really want you to write a paragraph but it will give you a good idea what are the things that you can ask your students to do while they're watching your videos one of the ways in which you can manipulate also your callouts is by grabbing the edges and dragging them so the callout lasts longer now if you ask your students or your users to please pause the video well in reality the callout doesn't have to last for a long time at any given moment the student is going to have to pause it and read it in order to continue finally um, once that you have done a call out and let's imagine that you don't want to have it anymore um, there's a very easy way to delete it and, and it is by selecting it and clicking the delete key or just coming over here and clicking on remove call out very well